What do you think? I don't know. You know? Anxiety. Panic. Panic attacks. God does not help people who are panicking. He does not. Because the moment there is panic, there is not God. And the moment there is panic, there is a demon of heaviness. It's a demon. It's a spirit of panic. God said, until you are still. He says, be still and you know I am the Lord. God will not show up where people are panicking. You may be in church. The moment this spirit of panic, just know you're under attack. This spirit is trying to attack you. Somebody say, I rebuke this spirit now. Depression is also part of the spirit of heaviness. The depression. It's a depression. We have somebody right now depressed. You are depressed. You are under attack of a spirit of heaviness. And you know, you, you just go into this mood. Boom. You begin to think about the matter. So much about it. So much. You are cornered. No hope. Hopeless. You are so hopeless. It is a spirit of heaviness. No matter how a man of God may lay a hand upon you, you will never receive. No matter how we cast our demons around you, you will not receive because there is a spirit of heaviness. There is no hope. Despair is another sign that you under attack. Despair is, it, it is a sign of heaviness. When you're under despair, it means that you have actually turned your back against hope. There is no hope. So you sit there and say, uh, Papa, you know, I was believing God for this to happen, to happen. Hey, by the way things are happening, I don't know whether to happen or not. You are under despair, heaviness. I rebuke you. Now watch this. What is another sign? Grief. Grief. We have people here. Oh, what's the difference, by the way, sorrow and grief? They are not much different. Only that sorrow, most of the times, sorrow is when you are so sorrowful, you know, people may, it may read you to cry. But grief is when you just, it just comes so heavy. So heavy upon you over some situation. And it may even come because of unforgiveness. Sometimes past regret. You committed something or you did something wrong. You prayed about it and you believed God forgave you. But it keep on coming. You know, so there is this self-condemnation. You are attacked. You are under a spell of heaviness. And I want you to see this. The quicker, the better you rebuke this spirit. Because the Bible says the moment it is there, there will be no joy in your life. The moment it is truly there, there will be no gladness in your life. It blocks anything joyful. It blocks any good news in your life. Somebody say, I rebuke you now. It is a spirit. Somebody say, I rebuke you. Can you add, can you speak, can you speak with an attitude? Don't talk like the devil is your neighbor and your friend. Sorry, rebuke you.